Hi, my dear students. This is Yar Lagadda, your English faculty, a word expert and a multiple world records holder. All the topics being released through this channel are much useful to the students from upper primary level to the PG level. So, don't miss these topics. Since it is a new approach to take the content to the students, it will take some time to the students to understand, to adapt and to habituate. Right? Hi, my dear students. Welcome to episode number 10. This episode is titled as Eponyms. Have you ever heard the word eponym before? I think very a few people know the word eponym. Forming a word, I mean eponym, from the name of a person, a place, a thing or an activity is also one. The, let us go for the definition to the word eponym. There are more than dozen definitions to the word eponym. Among them, the best one is an eponym is a person, a place or a thing after whom a wish someone or something is or is believed to be named. That means eponyms are nothing but the words formed after the names of some persons, some places, or some things, or some activities. Okay? Now, let us go to the classification of the eponyms. As per one best classification, the total eponyms are divided into six types. The first one is simple eponym. The second one is compound eponyms, suffix based eponyms, possessive eponyms, clipping eponyms, and the last or the sixth type of eponym is blend eponyms. Now, let us go for some examples how the words are the eponyms bond. Are kind. Let us take an example the word Rafflesia. Rafflesia is the name of the world's largest flower. The word Rafflesia is formed after the name of Mr. Stamford Raffles, who is the team leader of a botanical expedition. Now, let us know more about these eponyms through a stanza. Okay. Now you are watching a stanza on the screen. This stanza is titled as Funny Eponyms. There are four lines in the stanza as usual. This stanza is written by using 14 words. The total words, I mean 14 words used in the stanza are eponyms. The first word of each line is used in the sense of verb and the remaining all words are used in the sense of nouns. That means the eponyms may be verbs, nouns or adjectives or any other word of Parts of speech. Now, the substance of the stanza and the etymology of the 14 words used in the stanza are being displayed on the screen. Read them carefully.
there are thousands of eponyms in English words. Nearly 2000 medical words are eponyms. The page furnished with some important and useful eponyms is here with attached for you. Okay, look at that page and make use of them if necessary. Okay. It is time for this week trivia and this week question. Okay, let us go and enjoy the trivia and the question. Oh, don't turn off your mobiles because there is a finishing touch in the subject matter of this topic. That is, the word Google is also an eponym. How is it? Really funny. Okay, students, let us say goodbye to this present topic. I will be back in the next episode with a variety and an amazing topic. Till then, Enjoy with the wonders of the world and beauty of these sentences. By the way, there is a copyrighted content in this topic. Permission is required to make use of it. Bye.